And I have on the line now Beatriz Martinez Benaved, LMHC founder of Triumph Steps Inc. Beatrice, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, we've got uh, uh, so much to talk about, uh, but only a few minutes to do it in. But I, I want to really hit up on, on the key points. Uh, you've got a tremendous background. Uh, you've been featured on NM, uh, uh, NBC, CBS, Univision, uh, uh, someone who is, uh, who is an expert on all the things related to mental and emotional well-being, Okay. Uh, and, and obviously this is front and center through this entire situation we're dealing with now with the, with the coronavirus. Um, you know, people's lives have changed like, like, like the snap of the finger one day to another. What are some of the things that people could be doing now to manage their stress? Yes, you said it. From one day to the next, our lives completely, completely changed. Um, and one of the things that I've been telling people now for a while is that the thing that we really need to be focusing on right now is our mental hygiene. We'll be talking a lot about the hygiene of our hands and, you know, and not touching our face, but the mental hygiene is the most important thing for us to address right now. Yes, we have to follow CDC recommendations. Uh, yes, we have to do that. However, if we're filled with anxiety, with stress, with depression, um, and, and it, 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 it paralyzes us. It does not let us think straight. And I always tell people that fear is more contagious than any virus out there right now. So you don't need to be cl in close contact with anybody. You just watch the news for a little bit or you watch social media or you read a chat from your friends and then you get just this mass reaction of fear. So we must be informed and socially responsible, um, but we have to do our very best not to fit into a hysteria and panic. We need to look at uh, we, we have control over. We need to stay away from the news, for one. Uh, we need to um, recognize that uh, when we're anxious and afraid, it really decreases our immune system, and that's the very last thing we need right now. We need a strong immune system, and how do we build that? By staying, you know, by eating healthy, by exercising, and most importantly, by having the correct thought patterns that are going to bring you hope and optimism. And I always I always, always tell my, my clients and my patients that there's no quicker way to get there but, than by meditating. When we meditate, it actually gets us in touch with, that, you know, with, with the place of us that makes us creative. Uh, we have an inner wisdom, so we, when we listen to what's going on, we decide what we need to be afraid of. We don't let the news get us afraid. Um, and so I think those are important things. You know, stay away from the news. Uh, eat healthy, exercise, but especially watch your thoughts at all times. Just watch, you know, what's happening in your mind. And like uh, Maya Angelou said, hope and fear cannot occupy the same space. Invite only one to stay. And I think at this time we really need to be inviting hope. You know that um, the the road to recover um, on any level, whatever it might be, OK, uh, starts with accepting the circumstances of which, you know, you or you and I are experiencing at any given time. Whatever adversity that might be, whatever setback is to uh, accept, you know, not necessarily that you like it or that you're comfortable in it, but to accept the reality of right now. They're telling us social distancing. Be, be at home as much as possible, 80% of the time, whatever that might be. We don't like it. We're uncomfortable with it. We feel like our liberties have been cut away. And, and you know, that puts us into seclusion, starting internally and then away from most people that we, we love, family and friends and all of that there. But I think so. I think, you, you know, from what we shared the other day and talking before the show is, number one, to accept where we're at, okay, and then the next step is, okay, how do I work within the situation I have right now? 
how can I now better myself? How can I get creative with what's going on here? And, and, and start to look at things that maybe you wouldn't have paid attention to because of the daily runaround. Now we're forced to do that. So I think acceptance, uh, that's where it starts, right? Absolutely. When we accept what happens, that we're not um, feeling depressed or, or anxious, right? We're like kind of staying in the moment. Uh, when we're depressed, we're going back, you know, in the past. And we're like looking at the things that have disappointed us, and and then we get depressed and and worried. When we go to the future, we catastrophize things, and we think of the worst scenarios, which most of the time they don't even happen. Uh, but then they give gives us all this stress. When we accept things, and when we really um, stay calm and 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 uh, and center in what's going on in the moment then we all of a sudden find just creative ideas and become problem solvers. Uh, this is all mm-hmm. about that, that personal responsibility. Really, nobody can control our minds but ourselves. And people would tell me, yes, Beatrice, but that's so much easier said than done. And I, I do agree with that. You know, when, you, when you've never done this and you just allow your mind to be running around everywhere, it is easier said than done. But we can train our brain to do that. We can train our brain to stay in the moment, to just be grateful for all the things that we have around us because despite of how things are, they're not really that bad, uh, Pete. You know, we, we have homes and, and we have food and, uh, and, you know, and we have air conditioning and most of us have warm water and, you know, they, you know things are not that horrible. So if we really start focusing on all the things that we should be grateful for, what happens in our brain is that, you know, the neurochemicals that are produced are serotonin and dopamine, and then it helps us be more creative and find more solutions to our problems. Uh, I just encourage people to really get into that space, and when we do the sessions, those are the things that we, we walk them through. We start to think of ways to help others. Um, just when I was listening to um, your your previous uh, guest right there, when he was talking about Operation Helping Hands, you you start to look at things. Oh my God, how can I get involved in the community? What are other things that I could be doing instead of thinking here about my problems and my issues? Um, so it really we really begin to see that there are infinite possibilities to every solution. We start to. Think really. Yeah. You know, and I think that there, there are golden opportunities within all the adversity we're going through. I mean, it's like you said, it's easier to say. And I know for me, I've gone through the roller coaster, the up and down. Uh, but one of the things that I, that I learned maybe over the years is when I'm going through a, a tough spot, and, and entrepreneurs, for instance, they go through this roller coaster every day. I mean, you can be on top of the world at 9 o'clock in the morning, and an hour and a half later, something happens, and you're in the bottom of that, of that roller coaster. So mm-hmm. it's something that, that we, you know, we're, we're and, and by the way, it, it means that you're alive because if you want to be in a straight line, always feeling good the whole time, what, what, what symbolizes a straight line? You're not around anymore. Okay. Mm-hmm. You, you, you would see that, that, that thing go up and down and up and down. I got about a minute or so left here. What, and I know there's so much that you can share with the listeners, but what one insight, one, one strong, uh, 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 you know, message of hope do you want to share with the listeners right now? You know that um, I, I, I like to really focus on, on the good things going on. So, you know, I mentioned that gratitude is some, an exercise that we should always do. But I always like to also focus, if we're going to focus on the news, let's, let's focus on the, on, the, on the good news, right? Let's focus on the fact that um, today, I think in Italy, um, the, we had the lowest number of new Hello? The lowest number of new cases in the last 13 days since March 17. Um, we, they also reported the highest number of new recoveries. So I like to look at that part, those yes. aspects on, of, of what's going on, and always remember that what we focus on the longest grows the strongest. So let's just focus on, on the positive aspects of the whole transformation that we're going through right now. And I think also perspective. Look at the big picture, uh, because it's bad. Absolutely about perspective, yes. It's bad, it's scary, but, you know, how do you look at the glass, half full or half empty? 
Mm-hmm. And if we can continue to go half full or three quarters full, yeah, there's 25% of it that's empty, but, you know, I'm three quarters of the way there. And I think it's about perspective, looking at the big picture. And, mm-hmm. and that's where I think, I think, I think uh, your message is, is incredible. It, it's, it, if we allow it, it will resonate internally with us. Uh, so, uh, uh, Beatrice, thank you so much for, for being part of this program. You, you know, your message is, is timely more than ever. And, uh, and, and I know that a lot of the listeners are, are in gratitude to you for sharing your, your expertise and, and your, and your uh, insight as well. Thank you. Thank you, Pete, so much for having me. I hope, um, I hope that I can hear from, from your listeners if they have any questions and if they have anything that I can help in terms of their mental health. They can email, email me at Beatrice, B-E-A-T-R-I-Z, Beatriz, at triumphsteps.com. That's Beatriz, B-E-A-T-R-I-Z, at T-R-I-U-M-P-H-S-T-E-P-S dot com. Beatrice, thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much.